Good morning, world. Welcome again to our channel. Do you want to know one of the departments of a local government unit of DIGOS? Or even for all the local government unit all over the Philippines? Do you want to know the legal basis of, such, of the creation of such department? Do you want to know its functions? And do you want to know where it is anchored in our Philippine Constitution? If you said yes or you answered yes to any of the above mentioned questions, kindly watch till the end. But before that, kindly like and subscribe our channel. Thank you very much. So I want to share to you about the Cooperatives Development Office. Why is it that I have an authority to tell you about one of the departments here at Local Government Unit of DICAS? It's because I am one of the department heads. So, ayan. so I am Joy S. Alao, a certified public accountant, and I am the city budget officer the Acting Local Economic Development and Investment Promotion Officer, and also concurrently the Acting Cooperatives, City Cooperatives Development Officer. So that stands for a CCDO. So where in our constitution that encourages the creation of a cooperative? So in the state policy section, section 23, the state shall encourage non-governmental, community-based, or sexual organizations that promote the welfare of the nation. So, doon, nakabasi yung isang pag-create ng cooperative. And also, RA 7160 ng Local Government Code or Local Government Code of the Philippines, it states that um, in Article 17, there, it sets the creation of the Cooperatives Development Office as a discretionary. Here, naka-state dito yung mga qualifications at ano yung um, course, ano yung training na kailangan at saka yung experience. So basically, the three uh, tenets or the qualifications that need that is needed uh, to be, anong tawag nito? to be qualified as City Cooperatives Development Officer, or co CDO, Cooperatives Development Officer. Ayan. In Section 487, Qualifications, Powers, and Duties of a um, Cooperatives Development Officer. So no person shall be appointed Cooperatives Officer unless he is a citizen of the Philippines. Ayan. A resident of the local government unit concerned. Oh, the back of go good moral character, a holder of college degree, preferably in business administration with special training in cooperatives or any related course from a recognized college or university and a first grad grade civil service eligible or its equivalent. He must have experience in cooperatives, organization and management for at least five years in the case of provincial or city cooperatives officer, in three years in the case of municipal cooperatives officer. Ayan. For a while. Have to stop sharing first. I have to recheck. Ayan. Okay. Checked. So next, we're going to go to... so. Sabi ko nga sa RA 7160, it is not mandatory. Discretionary siya sa isang local government unit ang pag-create ng isang cooperatives development office. But then, um, recently, ipinalabas 11535, Republic Act, again, 11535, an act making the position of a cooperatives development office mandatory in the municipal, city, and provincial levels, amending for the purpose Republic Act Number 7160, yung, yung binasa natin kanina, otherwise known as the Local Government Code of 1991. So, in amend siya. Before discretionary, ngayon, mandatory na. So, 
Herein, in the section 454, inamend siya, kasami, kasama na si CDO na nagiging mandatory. Ayan. Then we have responsibilities of cooperatives office in the local government unit. So ito po, kinuha ko po ito sa, anong tawag nun? Um, from the responsibilities of the Cooperatives Development Officer based on sa appointment ng isang CDO from the Human Resource. Of course, it is also from the Republic Act 11.535. Oh, so, kumbaga, um, sinamarize na siya. So, summary of the responsibilities of CDO. Ayan. Initiates the organization and management of cooperatives and provides technical and other forms of assistance. So basically po, initiates the organization. So hindi yung maghahanap ng sino yung dapat na i-organize or i-encourage na i-organize. And management of cooperatives. So at first, we have to para bang i-guide namin sila dun sa management. Ayan. And provides technical, provides technical and other forms of assistance. Technical assistance dun sa uh, nagbibigay tayo ng trainings. Ayan, management trainings, so maraming trainings. Ayan. And other forms of assistance. It could be financial if the uh, local government unit uh, budget allow. So we we give donations, grants to some of the cooperatives. Ayan. So to enhance their viability as an economic enterprise and social organization. Diba? Be in the in the front line of cooperatives rehabilitation or viability enhancement, particularly during and in the aftermath of man-made and natural disasters and calamities to aid in their survival. O, diba? Front line, rehabilitation, viability enhancement. O, diba? Recommendations to the Sangguniang Panlungsod and advises the city mayor on all matters relative to cooperatives development and viability enhancement which will improve the livelihood and quality of life of the inhabitants. So basically, po, we, we encourage people or citizens to organize so as to help them in their social economic um, viability or yung upliftment or the ba and then we have performed such other duties and functions and exercises such other powers as provided under the local government co code of 1991 and those that are prescribed by law so yan cooperative management so thank you god bless